first coat on that wall is up and along the bottom here got this new cover cut for the basement and I got the hinge bracket painted it was brown so I sanded that down and painted that so I'm just going out to that point for now so I can get this slide out mechanism bolted up tomorrow all right so slide out mechanism in place and I just need to bolt this thing up I've got some uh, grade 8 and grade 5 bolts it's probably overkill but that's what I got got the uh, now you can kind of see the color without this green tarp <laughs> making it look all weird but it's that uh, it's kind of an off-white uh, creamy color so I think that's gonna look pretty good get these bolts tightened up and uh, get the make sure that it's square and uh, and then get them tightened up all right so when squaring up the uh, slide out mechanism to the outside wall uh, you, you want to make sure that it's within uh, like dead on is you know obviously what you're shooting for but no more than an eighth of an inch difference between this side and that side <clears throat> um, I go right here to this edge got exactly two inches And exactly two inches so I'm perfectly square on my slide out mechanism and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything up and then uh, recheck for square and the, the reason you can be uh, about an eighth of an inch off is you've got uh, a, a bulb seal it's uh, called a D seal and uh, you know that compresses when it when the slide outs closed and then there's also D seal on the inside wall so when it's open you've got compression on that seal plus you have your wiper seal and uh, an eighth of an inch uh, from one end to the other is not going to uh, create a leak or uh, allow for any uh, water intrusion so uh, shoot for you know a perfect square but if you can be within an eighth of an inch that's uh, still pretty good got my brackets cleaned up a little bit still have to uh, scrape some of the sealant off the edges there and I'm um, doing the same with this uh, face wall on the outside of the slide out getting all the old sealant scraped off uh, just using a razor blade and uh, clean up all the edges really well so when I go to reseal it uh, everything uh, sits flush so the best way to do this with the razor blade <coughs> is go at an angle and about you know a little less than a 45 and just start one nice big swipe and it cleans it up pretty well there's a little bit left and then you can go back this uh, opposite direction and just kind of scrape just like that and get the rest of this so the uh, razor blade works really well for the uh, phylon uh, fiberglass surfaces um, if you're uh, trying to get sealant off of uh, painted surface like some of this aluminum trim uh, I suggest using one of these uh, caulking tools and it's got the uh, plastic scraper on the back side or you can use a Teflon scraper, um, a Teflon putty knife or something like that. That way you don't uh, risk uh, scratching your paint. Just a little bit of caulking on that edge right there. You can get under it with this plastic scraper and it comes right up. You can use the plastic scraper to get some of this uh, butyl tape off as well. I scraped most of it with a screwdriver, but um, 
when it's up against the paint like that, I'll use one of these plastic tools. Alright, so I got the uh, side wall all cleaned up, all the old sealant off, and uh, I'm going to get my butyl tape on the trim and get the trim put on all the way around here with the uh, butyl tape and some screws, get that installed, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, this evening I'll be able to get the slide out uh, put in place and I got this wall all cleaned up the face wall and once I get the slide out installed we can uh, we can get the face wall in place and uh, sealed and screwed in about uh, 94 degrees today and got my hat on I know it looks really cool huh anyway get this going and uh yeah making progress got my aluminum trim piece uh cut to the radius of the skirt there and uh as soon as i get all the sealant uh put on around the um the slide out opening i'll uh get this piece of trim put on that way i can get it sealed up too butyl tape put on there get uh, installed all right got all the trim up and all the sealant. I, uh, I cleaned everything up really well and then I sealed everything off with uh, Dicor uh, non-leveling lap sealant. I really like that stuff. It lasts a long time and it's got good uh, adhesion and a, a good stretch to it. So I'll let that sit up overnight and then uh, I guess the next step is getting that slide room in. So that'll be it for today. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.